All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are preparing to set up all of the formwork for the garage walls today. In a couple of days, our friend's coming out to help run the telehandler and we're gonna pour the garage wall and get it all ready to go. So today it's gonna be a lot of form work and preparing and a lot of precise stuff. So that's what we're doing today. Check it out. We are taking off a, some of the hardware from the original um, frame builds because it was just the wrong hardware. A bit too far into our MDO. And they're breaking. The um, screws yeah, are breaking. The screws are breaking. These are actually designed to go from plywood into metal. So they've got these nifty little locking mechanisms right there mm -hmm. that will catch the metal. And the big wide heads that yeah. don't... Um... Don't sink in quite as far. Yeah. So we're just taking these and... Like nice. yep. So we have our first section uh, level and braced. So now we're going to put our next big section up next to it. So that way we can level and brace that. And then everything, this is going to sort of act like the cornerstone of our form. Once those are level, then we know we can just go down the line and check level. And we should be relatively close if we just line up everything. So we're going to do that, brace it up and keep going. Oh, we're exactly 12 feet, right? Uh -huh. That's the issue. That's the issue. So, but these are four feet one eighth. So that will give us a total of four feet three eighths all the way across. Okay. So if we overhang this by an eighth of an inch, that should give us a quarter of an inch on that side. Well, we can't screw this guy into that. Correct. So what we're going to do is okay. take some of this channel, some of the off cuts. Okay. And I'm going to do a plate here that'll screw into this gotcha. and then into that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, totally. Okay. Okay, you ready? Because the other thing this will do is it will hold the one we attach to to so embrace both of them. Alright, you can go ahead and wood putty. The other one? The other one, yeah. Okay. Have one large frame plus two end caps. We have one end cap to go. Yep, I'm gonna go get it right now. That's one. That's our five foot end cap with the space. What? That? What's that, Dada? This is called low expansion, low expanding foam adhesive. And we have no idea if this is going to do what we want it to or not. You know soon enough. Well, let's find out. We have to wait uh, like 60 minutes, I think. You know what? I'm going to glue the other one down. Because if it's not going to work, it's not going to work spectacularly. But yeah, look at this. Ow. It, uh, it's really stuck down. I'm more concerned about getting it off at this point. 
heat. Not that it's uh, gonna break loose, but that's good because now we have our anchor points for the uh, support beams and we didn't have to punch any holes in the concrete. We probably stain the concrete, but stains are easier to uh, deal with, especially in the garage. So yeah, that's uh, it's a pretty good solution, I think. Man, that stuff's really on there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put up the, this one. That one. Right here. And then we're gonna go get more out of the Connex box. Put the other one right here. Then we're gonna do the back side of rebar. We're gonna lay the foam in and do the front side of rebar. Okay. And then the front side of forms. That's it. You know. That's our goal today. In Easy. the next, you know, four hours. Oh. Well, today and tomorrow. We have today oh, and tomorrow. Oh yeah, we have tomorrow. Too. Yeah, we have all day tomorrow to do all that too. I'm hoping for no wind this time. At least until it's braced. Okay, now we have to go get the big ones from over there. Yeah, I'm gonna use the telehandler. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lift this bad boy into place. We are literally right there. Right where we wanna be. Okay, sorry. Right. We got a half a form up. So All now right. we need to do rebar? Yep, we got to cut the rebar, which three or five eighths rebar is not super fun to cut. We really need to get one of those chop saws, but I mean, they had it the most recent time I was there and I was like, do we really need one? Yes. We just let, just let me cut like 10 of these and then I'll be convinced that we need one. While this rebar cutter is in fact rated for five eighths. It's not super fun to cut five eighths with it. Problem is that once it goes, it just goes. It breaks free and then. One! Right, I wonder if I do it like fast. It'll just. Whoa, nope. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be fun. New plan. New plan. <laughs> there we go. So this is what we came up with. Uh, we grabbed some very, very heavy Schedule 40 pipe. We stuck it on the end of this thing. And we're using it as a giant lever listen to the tension on this thing. So yeah, considering the hydraulic rebar cutters are like $2,000, this will kind of work for now. <laughs> we have a lot of rebar to cut though. I think we need to get one of those chops, the cheap chop saws. So now we are going to take all of that rebar that we just had a miserable time cutting and are gonna come up with a better solution. And we're gonna tie it all off to all of our uprights to create the next like section of rebar. Need to come out an inch and a quarter. Because of the window. Because of the window. Call him Nathaniel Frederick, the pipe bender. The last pipe bender. The last pipe bender. 
All right, Nathaniel. Down you go. You and Nathaniel make a good team. Yeah, we do. You know, along with Frederick. Nathaniel, can I can I call you Nate? So we got those two, and then the whole back row, and the one on the end. And here comes the foam. Yep. A fresh, clean cut on this side. Where the where it's gonna butt up to the window. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab another sheet and we need a straight line. So what we'll do is we'll actually build a jig that will sit between these two forms and hold this in place. We got the three back frames and both sides put up. We got some of the rebar tied in and all of the foam in place. So we're gonna call it a day. Now we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. We're gonna tie up the rest of that rebar and then we're going to put up the other forms and get everything ready for ramming our first wall. realized we can leave it like this until tack it all in and that'll hold it to make it so we don't have to worry about it coming down on us while we're working even if the wind blows even if the wind blows Hooray. so now throw that level on this corner that uh, a little bit more if we can yeah there. that's good more can you yeah Two together. Alright, so we now have yellow paint on our rebar to remind us to put our horizontal uh, rebar in when we get to that point. Just a friendly reminder, right? Because last time I forgot on the uh, pillars in the front, I forgot. Fortunately, those are not as critical. No easier because there'll be more to flex, but you're not going to get caught on anything until you get to the very, very top. So then it's only like one or two lifts where you're getting caught on the rebar as opposed to one or two lifts and then you add more rebar and then one or two lifts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So if you didn't catch that, we decided to take out the five foot sections of rebar and we'll use those as horizontals. And we're just gonna put verticals in that go all the way from the bottom to the top of the form where we need them so that we aren't dealing with pokey rebar, um, you know, at, at increments all the way up. Ricky's tying in the corner ones back there. Yeah, look at it. Oh, and then you pull from the center. Yeah. And then you can stand it up and it's just right here. So you just... Nice. Hey, you want to hear me another piece of rebar? Sure. You know what we forgot to do? What? Spray them for horizontals. Oh. Did this for a whole summer when I was a kid. 16, I think. I think it was an effort on my dad try to get encourage us to go to college and not have manual labor and jobs. not have manual labor jobs and here I am <laughs> but taught me how to do it thanks dad okay so we finished tying in all the rebar in the back as well as all the rebar in the front we have marked out at the top of the frames where the outside wall will end and where the inside wall will end. As well as over here, we're going to need to do rammed earth up to that point, and then we're going to need to put on our window framing pieces. Ricky is working on bracing this 
form over here. And then we're gonna put up the other two frames. You get that side. All right. All right, you guys, we have three giant sides and a shorty. It is ready to go. Everything except we did the cross brace there. Now we need to do two more. And then we're done. And then we're done. So we're gonna finish that up and say, Thanks for joining our adventure. 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 Thanks for joining our adventure.